If you're looking for some new furniture to spruce up your outdoor space, then the 2x4 Basics Flip Top Bench Table is the kit for you. This versatile piece of furniture transforms from a regular bench to a table in no time. And we're gonna show you just how easy it is to put this together. Inside the box, you'll find two bench end brackets, two pivot brackets, two slide lock brackets, all the necessary hardware you need to put this together and easy to follow instructions. If you feel you're missing any parts, reach out to our tech support team or visit us at 2x4basics.com. Tools that you'll need today are a circular saw, a drill with a number two Phillips bit, a tape measure, pencil, safety glasses, and two 916th wrenches. And I like to use a speed square to make those straight cuts a little easier. First, you'll need to decide how long you want your flip top bench table. It can be built up to eight feet long, and for our space today, we're going to do it at six feet. If you do choose to do eight feet long, you'll wanna make sure to refer to the instructions for some added steps to make it a little bit more secure. Once you've decided the length of your build, you wanna refer back to the instructions to determine the exact amount of wood you're going to need. And if you don't have a saw, most lumber yards will cut the wood for you. Now that we've got our lumber cut, you can see that we have seven six foot boards and two that are 12 and a half inches shorter. And that's for our stringers. And we'll get back to that later. And this is everything you're gonna need for this build. So let's get started. We're gonna take four of the full length boards and lay them out. And two things to consider. One, you wanna make sure the end is square. And the second thing is, we're going to build from this point forward upside down. So you wanna make sure the good side is towards the ground. Next, we'll take the pivot brackets and place them five inches from each end. And one thing to consider there is there's an open end and a closed end. On the open end, it's marked front. Make sure that's facing you. Once we measure our five inches, make sure everything's aligned here at the end, but then we wanna space the boards out about one quarter inch. And a tip is to take one of our screws and place it right between the boards. That'll get you pretty close. Once you get your bracket aligned, go ahead and secure it with eight fasteners. Once the pivot is secured, you're gonna take the slide locks and slide it right down into that bracket so that it snaps firmly in place. Then you can move it freely. Once you get your slide locks in place, you're gonna move on to the bench ends. Place that on the ground. We're gonna grab our two stringers and slide them right into the open spaces. so that they're nice and secure. At this time, we're not going to fasten them. We're gonna take the other end of the bench and slide it right on top so that both ends are flush. We'll lay it down and we're ready to put the top on. Now that our stringers are in place, we're going to attach the bench ends to the pivot brackets. And as you do that, you wanna make sure that these slide locks are both open. We're gonna go ahead and slide that in on both sides, and then we're gonna secure that with our bolts. Okay, so we'll take a bolt and slide it right through here, line it up to the other side, and place your nut on the inside. And you'll use two 9 16th wrenches to tighten that down. Make sure not to over tighten when you have one thread showing on the back side. You're tight enough. You're gonna repeat this step on the other side. Once our bench ends are attached, we're gonna go ahead and get this flipped over and secure our stringers. You wanna make sure your stringers are flush to the end of the board. We're gonna pre-drill it, and then we're gonna place our screws in there. And we're gonna repeat this step seven more times.
Next, we'll take our three remaining boards and we'll create our seat here. A couple things to consider here. We wanna make sure both sides are flush to the front on the brackets. You also wanna make sure there's about a quarter inch separation between each board. And then you wanna make sure on the outside that we're aligned square to the end. Now, we'll secure each one to the bracket with two screws from the bottom. You're gonna repeat this step on the other side. And there you have it. You're ready to enjoy your newest piece of furniture, whether it's a table or a bench. For other builds, check out our YouTube page, 2x4Basics, or visit our website at 2x4Basics.com. And remember, we build it to last, you make it any size.